自然の力をその身で知るといいぞ。本当の力を見せてもらおうかこれはお主に与えられた試練だ Alright guys, so let's talk about the cards that are coming、uh, Shout out to the Seven of the Sins Grand Cross database、uh, webpage and the Discord for our translations. I'll have a link in the description. So we have Three new units coming. I didn't show off the Elaine Super Attack because it was a redo of a previous Super Attack, nothing new. So we have two new Super Attack characters that are coming, and、uh, let's see what they do. I'm not going to be covering all the patch notes. If you guys want to check that video out covering the whole patch notes, I'll go over the basics, but it's going to take me literally 30 minutes to cover all these patch notes. I believe my boy Nagato covered everything, so if you guys want to check that video out, you guys can. But I'm just going to cover and go over the units. And I think that's what I'm gonna do、uh, from now on when it comes down to new units. I won't cover like the whole information. I might do the previous day on like the dev notes, but when it comes down to like new units, I'll just cover the units themselves and what they do. Okay, so right here we have Jenna. Her、uh, first attack skill is called Flash.、Uh, deals 250% damage to all enemies and applies Infect.、Uh, infect prevents healing, regeneration, and recovery on the target. So that actually can come in handy. Maybe in PvP, if you're like facing,、uh, let's say, I don't know, Lilia.、Uh, what type is she? Can we see what type she is? I'm pretty sure、uh, we saw what type she was up here. Hold up. She is. She is blue. Okay, so Jenna is blue.、Uh, that's interesting. Okay.、Uh, her second skill is Bright Shot, deals 500% damage to a single target、uh, enemy. And removes enemy stance. So, for example, if she attacks like、uh, Esterosa or Demon Melee,、uh, she gets rid of the stand. So, that actually could come in handy because if you attack with her right and you attack Esterosa, you don't get the counter back. So, that actually could come in handy.、Uh, her ultimate deals 560% damage to a single target enemy and applies collapse. Collapse is deals two times、uh, damage to enemy in stance mode. So, she's like. They literally made her、uh, so she would like completely annihilate like the Asterosos and、uh, regular melee horses. Okay. And her passive skill is、uh, this hero will receive only will receive will only receive one debuff effect, and as long as the effect is in place, her attack will increase by 20%. That's actually a very, 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 very good passive skill. So she can't be like multiple, multiple debuff. For example, let's say. Uh, you apply an attack debuff on her, right? Like minus 10%. She can be sealed. She can be petrified, I don't think. Don't call me on that. But she can receive any other debuffs on her. So this skill could come in handy. And I'm actually curious how well she is going to play in PvP because in PvP, that's where you see the most debuffs.、Uh, so I'm actually curious to see how she'll play. Plus, she also gets in a 20% attack boost. So,、uh, very decent unit. Okay, next we have. Uh, Zaneri, or I don't know how to pronounce her name. Zanelli. <laughs> it's what she,、uh, Ayoki has her, but it's like Zaneri or something. I don't know her name.、Uh, so, this card, let's see. Nimbus is her first attack. Deals 450% damage to a single target enemy and prevents the enemy from increasing their ultimate gauge for two turns. That's in her level three. So, I'm guessing her level two is probably going to be one turn, and her level one is not going to be any.、Uh, that's how it's going to work. Or it could be like one, one, two. Uh, if it, they go like that, so 450%, not bad, has actually pretty high damage, and not having the chance to, you know, increase your ult gauge could come in handy. Okay, next one is heal 50% of all allies' maximum HP and removes all debuff effects. So she's a cleanser. She is a cleanser. So 50% on a level 3, I wonder what her level 2 and level 1 are going to be, but that's actually a big amount. That is a big amount to heal. So,、uh, not bad. Not a bad healing、uh, card. Okay, her ultimate create a 350% shield to all allies and increase HP related stats by 25%. Ooh, whoa. Okay. Yo, I can, <laughs> yo, I can already see some teams of this. Her and Escanor? Oh, hold up. 
Bro, some teams are gonna be net. Okay, her passive skill. If the hero, if this hero removes a debuff from an ally, increase the ultimate gauge by one. Bro, hold up. So you can like basically almost spam ultimates, kind of. So you use your, uh, use their heal card, right? If you have any statuses on allies, I believe her level one card is going to be. I do, I'm pretty sure she has the same heal card as King. So, use her level 1 card, right? She cleanses any debuffs on any characters. For example, in PvP, that's gonna be, like, major. Because in PvP, like, the scene is just basically debuffs and all that kind of stuff. So, you debuff with her, right? Debuff. Get your ultimate real quick. Ult rush. Get a 350% shield. And increase stats with 25%. Okay, she can be a problem. She can be a problem. Okay, not bad. Not bad. I actually do want to see how she's gonna play out in the game actually when she comes out and the final card here is Elaine I believe she has her same level 1 skill or level 3 skill right here this attack skill deal 500% damage to a single target enemy and increase old cage with increase old cage by 2 I believe the other one decreased old cage okay so we are increasing old cage by 2 I believe that's Eskinor skill where he increases as well so that's definitely Eskinor skills uh, right here she has root shackles uh, decrease defense related stats by 40% for 3 turns. Hmm. I don't know how much this is going to play in effect because, like, for example, I'm taking this based off of the blue bond we have where he increases his defense. It doesn't really play a major effect in the game as far as I'm aware, but I'm not sure how the decreasing of like 40% would play in effect. So I'm actually curious to see how this skill would work uh, when it comes to the game. Uh, she has her same ultimate. Uh, removes buffs from a single target enemy and deals 490% damage, applies stun for one turn, uh, cannot move for one turn, stun cannot move for one turn, yeah, so, she has her same ultimate in her, here we go, her passive skill in boss raids, okay, all buffs on allies are further increased by half, hmm, okay, so can she be run in the back, so if she's ran in the back, right, in boss raids, you do like a what's it called you do an arthur buff let's say for example they get more to that oh my guilt on their buff 60 percent and then further increase by half so it's another 30 percent so 90 percent buff i think she's gonna be super good in boss rates especially now that like hell is a thing and everybody's doing hell Okay, Elaine could be very, very useful. I mean, she has a boss raid specific... Boss raid specific uh, thing going, so... Hmm. Okay. That is interesting. Wait, do they mean by boss raids? Do they mean... This stuff right here? Hold up. Uh, super boss? I guess it means these? This, these raids? Boss raids? Or do you mean like the uh, the demon raids? I'm pretty sure it means boss raids. Okay. Well, regardless, even even in boss raids, she's gonna be super super good. And by the way, this is the new boss raid that's coming. Uh, it's the Miliotis and Elizabeth. And it looks like the card that's gonna be like super good for this event is that uh, Jenna. So, but they're blue, man. Why why, why Jenna? I don't understand. Why Jenna? I don't know. I guess we'll find out. But I really want those costumes, man. Look at those costumes. Apparently there's a new, like, ranking system of rewards. Where you have to, like, rank in, like, the top 15, top 10, or top 5. Uh, to get, like, good rewards. Which I'm pretty sure everybody should be able to do if, like, they previously completed uh, Hell. The Hell Run. So, it shouldn't be that. 50 Stamina?! Oh my, dude, what? Did it change that? Like, of how many times you can do it? 50 stamp. So you can have to, like, literally spam this. And rank up. Okay. That's gonna be interesting to see. Well, I mean... I'm excited to see. Uh, tomorrow is the banner. So I will have a summoning video. Uh, the only card I'm looking to... I don't know who I really want more. I actually... I do want this one. I do want her. Because I do want to try her like out in PvP, 
because that healing kind of combo and the shield combo can kind of come in handy and ooh, she's gonna be she's gonna be nasty to com combo so uh, I'm excited all right thank you so much for watching I'll catch you guys in the next one